Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So establish if this uh, if this integral will converge or if it will diverge from zero to one, from zero to one. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, remember that if if you have um, uh, one over x, where where this is to the power of one, um, it, it will look something like this: one, one. But then if if you have um, one over x squared. Then, it, then, then your graph will look something like this. It will look something like this. On this side here, it will converge, but then on this side here, it will diverge. So in this case here, we should be comparing it to uh, 1 over x squared. Well, if, if you look at this, um, this thing here, uh, this thing here, if you, if you look at e to the power of x, e to the power of x looks like this. Um, the, from from zero to one, from zero to one, is this is going to is going to be a positive amount. So um, so so it's it's going to be a positive amount, but it will be bigger. It will definitely be bigger than one. So 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 the smallest amount here is one. You see, if you make this to be the smallest amount, then 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 we can say that then we can say that this thing here must be uh, this thing here. Must be smaller or equal to this thing here. So if you, uh, you, well, we should be making this comparison. This thing here will always be greater or, e or equal to this thing here. So now, uh, now, now this thing here will, uh, well, remember your your one over x looks like this. Uh, one over x squared will look something like this. So, so in in this region here, it will diverge. It will diverge. This thing here. Will diverge, but then this being all this being always greater or equal to this thing here. If this thing diverges, then this will have no choice but also to diverge. So the overall answer is that this thing here will diverge. Okay. Next question. So um, establish if this will converge or if it will diverge from one to infinity, from one all the way to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, well, to do this, compare this, compare this to one over over x to the power of four. If you look at this here, if you make the denominator smaller, if you make the denominator smaller, then then this thing here will will be bigger than this thing here will be bigger or equal to. So 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 looking at the denominator here, you're adding an extra amount, but if you don't add the extra amount. Then the then the denominator here will be smaller than this. Now, if the denominator is smaller, then then the overall thing here will well this thing here will be bigger than this thing here. So remember the uh, re remember one over x looks like this. So one um, one 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 over um, one over x squared will look something like this. So this is going to be even steeper than one over x squared. So the point here is that if one if if one over x hang on, uh, one over x looks like this. If one over x squared converges, converges, then one well one over x to the power four will definitely converge. So this thing here will converge. This thing here will converge. Well, if this thing here is converged and this always being smaller or equal to well th the point is that if this thing converge and this is bigger or equal to this. Then this will have no choice but to also to converge. Okay, so so uh, so this thing here will converge. Okay.